Hello guys. Good morning. Hi. Eh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. <laughs> good day guys. So, today's video is about multimeter review and unboxing. So, I got this new multimeter. And I just uh, bought it from a online store. This is a second hand multimeter so this multimeter is branded with Keysight a HP product a HP brand HP company so Keysight is from Agilent Agilent is from HP instrument Elite Packard so now we have this multimeter, a KSight U142B digital handheld multimeter. So let's open the box. So inside, uh, wait, a holder, I think for the infrared data logging. The multimeter itself. The T slips. Quick start guide. See, you can see the Agilent technologies this uh, operating instruction or standard accessory kit we have the yellow envelope for the what's this? certification of calibration so, it has a calibration certificate for this meter Okay, it's dated on what's the date? Uh, we have no date, yes. Uh, well, it's not important, but at least it's calibrated. Okay, so next we have the for your safety. For your safety. <laughs> Another manual with different languages. We have the uh, uh, Thailand. Thailand? Yeah, Thailand. So let's uh, open the wow first impression very nice very nice case just like the flop rugged case so your money worth worth every single piece a bit so in the Philippines, uh, it's this. It's not a common meter in the Philippines because the commonly used multimeter is Sanwa, and the expensive one is the Fluke. So now we have the U one two four two B. So the okay. So here's the uh, holder for the data logging infrared connection USB to your PC. So it suits like that. Okay. So you can plug your data logging cable for, to the PC.
and the battery it uses triple A four triple A battery so I already put the battery I cannot go to the department store to buy a new battery so I look a good battery which rated by one five volts so that this meter will run uh, accurately so I already put the battery so it also have a nice uh, screw and the lock screw at the back mm. so when standing it's firmly stand mm. and it has nice uh, knob switches mm. so there You see the meter so very smooth when you switch the knobs into the other ranges other selection of the knobs and the backlight we have also the backlight color uh, light orange like that switch to ohms and you also see it now it has a uh, second display for the uh, temperature of the environment in your workshop okay so the next capacitance and the micro amperes milliampers amperes and you have to it's uh, sitting on the AC you have to press shift to change to DC okay second function so let's go back to the ohms so shift to continuity the nice of this meter is when you select that mode the diode mode it's default already to the diode mode mm. oh just like this this uh, flow when, when you switch to that uh, mode it's default to diode so some other multimeter uh, it has a diode and a uh, either capacitance capacitance mode so you have to press the shape button to uh, put in the diode mode so and also when it's beside in the voltage mode so it's easy to check voltage check continuity just press press mm, twist the knob just once and you're on the diode mode okay so uh, there are more different uh, different buttons like the hold button, the hold function, the null, the hertz, the ranges. So when you want to display the meter on the uh, fast update mode, you have to select manual manual range kung sa Tagalog pa gusto mong gusto mong mag reading siya na mabilis wag kang sa wag ka sa auto ranges mag manual range ka so para mabilis siyang sumagot kung gusto mong mabilisan ang sagot niya so mag manual so meron din siyang uh, burger it has a bar grip. Okay. So let's open the test lens.
original key side test leads. I have now a handheld multimeter with an HP brand. So very nice leads wire. Let's try the measurements. Okay, let's measure AC. Let's measure AC. Can you see it? Okay. Let's measure AC. So we are arranging AC. Okay. Now, I make it clear. Okay, we have in the voltage mode and the common. We have the micro amperes and the amperes. So we are good to go. Okay, so there's you see the 226.9. So let's compare to the flu. Let's compare to the flu. It, it is good. Oh, she. I almost forgot. <laughs> okay, so we are. Wait, wait, wait. What the heck? Okay, we're at 227. So in the. Two twenty six. So the key side is a little bit lower than the flow. Uh, less than one volt. Can you see the difference? That's considerable. Uh, so, this meter, this meter also is a true RMS multimeter. Mm -hmm, the same with the flow, true RMS. So now, this is fine. So let's test to the uh, the. Uh, the DC voltage so I'm gonna use my DC power supply Set to 0.999. So the same reading. I'm using my HP power supply. So I need. the same reading. So just the third digit difference. So let's set to the 2 volts. 2 volts na naman po tayo. 1.9. That's okay. The this the DC supply is uh, producing 2 volts. But the meter is 1.999. So it's okay. 3 volts. So 2.999, it's okay. 4 volts, 3.999, okay. 5, 
Okay, no problem. Six. Just eight. Seven. Okay. Volts. Tuh, 29, 29, 29. So to the diode mode. It also has a buzzer beeping. Okay. Just like look. It's also has a buzzer when you in diode mode. Okay. Ohms. Zero zero. When you shift to continuity. Okay. So now we're gonna test a. Ah, uh, sorry guys, I cannot give you the. Uh, I don't have a precision testing, so I just use another resistor. Sorry for that interruption. Uh, 560 key 567.8 to the plug 568 so it doesn't display the digit the uh, digit Digit display or the one. What is that? Extension. I don't care. <laughs> ah, hi. I'm talking too much. So almost the same. Five six seven point eight five six eight because the block doesn't display the point digit. So almost same in reading. So let's uh, go to the capacitance mode. Uh, next time we'll purchase a precision tester for so that we can test the, the instrument if it is reading accurately. So for now our what we can do is just test to the normal electronic parts so capacitance we're reading uh, 47 microfarad so 46.3 so let's try to the Forty six point four point three, just the same. Hmm. Again, forty six point three, just the same. So, another capacitor. So, we're gonna read a, a higher uh, like this one. Uh, let's test the one thousand new. We have 1,000 UF. So the key side, as you can see, uh, the update reading in capacitor is not too fast. So let's try to the plug. So 1013.8. Let's try to the plug. So, how, how fast the plug read? 
Okay. The plug display pass, as you can see. That's all guys for the re reading of the resistor and the capacitance reading comparing the clock and the key side. So this two brand is the top competitor in the handheld multimeter industry. So now, so another function is the, uh, I guess you already know the whole, in the key side uh, product, uh, you see the triangle sign. In the key side, it, it called uh, null, but in the clock, it, it is a relativity. So now, we are in the delta mode, the relativity button. You can see the triangle uh, sign in the display. So we can now uh, measure the exact resistance of this. Uh, resistor so we are set in the zero zero so okay so the 56 ohms is now reading 55.8 so there you see so when we uh, disable the delta mode so we can read the low resistance 56.1 but you read also the 0.2 ohms of the wire or the test leads of the meter okay so that's the use of the delta mode okay now so next uh, i guess you know how to use the micro ampers Regan. your tester must be serious in the circuit you made uh, what you what circuit you are up to hmm. so make sure the uh, power consumption of the circuit so as the comparison of this two meter uh, they are in the rugged Is that? Man, sa Tagalog pa is matibay na klase English <laughs> rugged class okay but this U242 you can buy this online up to uh, in peso in Philippine peso almost 20,000 and this 83 is 20 more plus money so but you have more function in the case side than the clock uh, you will see the thickness almost the same but the because of this clock is have a rubber holster this yellow and the key side is the built-in in the cover casing so that's all guys thank you for watching if you don't yet subscribe to my youtube channel please subscribe to support me <laughs> thank you for watching solid beto to my friends mosquitoes jackel delgado reche hapone ornelex canada alan cernas rotso Si by Edwin hmm. to my friends and to my friends in the Kasiguran province Danlel hmm. si Sir Durans Katarman sa lahat ng mga members sa B2 hmm. kay Sir Boots kay Sir Joel Pakumbaba kababayan na sa Ilongos Leyte si by Mar Sumog sa Quezon Si Glenn, ano, Iskut, Iskuta, sa Kabite, sa para mga, sino pa yung mga kaibigan ko dyan na, ano, sa Mindanao, sa Sulid, Mindanao, electronic technician, sa Smith, hmm. para, para rewels, 
na si ano sa pad ayan pa sa Bohol si Jewel Credo sa lahat-lahat hmm. la by Dennis Tayuni hmm. sa Tacloban si Lorenz sa Samar hmm. sa lahat sa Negro sa Bacolod sa Bernal sa Ilo la Mam Garcia